Glenda, a lot of people sounding on, sounding off on whether or not they should have to wear bio buttons when school returns here at Oakland University. We're talking about for students and staff. And after an online petition got 2,000 signatures, the school decided not to make it mandatory. We are trying to identify ways to keep you safe. This might be the earliest way to detect whether you are positive. Oakland University Chief Research Officer and Vice President Dr. David Stone says the school will provide bio buttons for students and staff to wear as soon as they return later this month. The goal, to minimize possible risk of exposure to anyone with COVID-19 and help prevent outbreaks. We will make them available on campus when students and faculty come back. The buttons help students and staff track their heart rate, respiratory rate, and temperature, but are not the only safeguard. OU will also require testing prior to move in, provide health kits and have sanitizing stations along with adjusted occupancy to allow for CDC approved distancing. As for recently deciding to make those buttons optional. In the end, we decided we'd get greater uptake of the whole campus if we didn't make it mandatory. You know, we've got 3,000 students in dorms who we're very worried about, but we've got 16,000 other students. An online petition on change.org initially criticized Oakland University, with some commenting buttons are an invasion of privacy and they would never consent to wearing them. However, Nicholas Mojares, a sophomore in the Honors College, tells us it's really just a minor inconvenience if I have to wear something. If it helps, you know, um, keep everyone healthy and the spread of COVID, I'm, I'm fine with that. Parent John Mojares, a practicing cardiologist, also sharing his view. I've seen it affect every age group in um, ways that a lot of us can't imagine. And he says he's confident data recorded by a bio button won't be misused for tracking purposes nor shared with a third party. I'm sure the university has done their due diligence in terms of researching that and protecting um, all that data. Both the university and the students have to, you know, play their part. And I think it is very important. Now the school says in the next couple of weeks they'll be releasing more information as how as to how students can pick up one of those bio buttons. Reporting live, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.